Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to show you a very, very inexpensive uh, antenna. Not actually the antenna in part, but the uh, tower fort. Uh, made these totally recycled, so I actually have zero cost in them. I'll show you what they're made out of. The first piece is a, a fence post, a very heavy duty fence post, an older one. And I drove that into the ground a few feet. It's probably in there about three feet. And then what I did was this is top rail from chain link fence. I took it and just put it in to the pole. Then I used that right there is four gates. Those are the hinges for a gate. And they fit perfectly on there. Then I had some uh, that right there and that right there came from one of the uh, portable basketball units that you put water in and you can move it around and those are the two supports off of that and I just uh, screwed it in and then I put the antenna um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this all the way up and I have a ham and it's not that far up it's uh, it's about 20 feet up. These come in 10 foot sections and I got those for free. And basically it has an end and they slip inside. This piece goes between the two big pieces. That's why I have this slack. I'm just, I just experiment. Does this extra four foot do, do anything for me? So that slack will get pulled up when I install this other four foot piece. When you do this, make sure you have a drip edge. This is over exaggerating. That way when water gets on here, it will come down and drip here instead of following that cable into the building. And what I did was drill the hole and now I'm gonna caulk that so no bugs can get in. And uh, I did another one. Still have to paint them all. Same thing, uh, salvage these. I'm gonna take them down, paint them make them look better and this is a CB antenna so I have zero into them other than the actual physical antenna that I purchased uh, totally recycled and it works good uh, they've been up for months I've had no issues with the wind now this particular one I had an extra 10 foot section in it uh, so it was really up there um, but when we had about 40 mile or 50 mile or gust uh, it moved a little bit so I think I'm still getting the same uh, I'm reaching out about the same so that 10 foot I took off I could easily put the 10 foot in I have the slack for the wire uh, inside the building so if, if things get bad and I need to get everything out of that radio and antenna I could extend it for 10 more feet and have no problem but right now it's working fine so very very affordable antennas, uh, towers. Uh, I have zero cost other than the spray paint that I will have to buy um, and uh, the few zip ties that I used on the project. So if you have a radio, uh, look around and you probably can build something very similar uh, for not much money. I'm in the market for uh, a used tower for my, I have a 400 watt wind turbine so I need a heavy-duty tower for that and uh, I might put another antenna um, not all the way up the top to interfere with the wind turbine but on that tower also so I can monitor a few different ham frequencies all at the same time thanks for watching